Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Call Law Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, Bashim Rahakwadash, Double Honest to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, Shalom La Bukwarium, Yahawa is the name of the Heavenly Father, that's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Bashim, which means in the name of. Uh, Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten son who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bashim Hakodash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the spirit of truth. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom La Bukwarium. Peace to the elect, those that will be slated to be delivered in these last days. Okay, and then you have those encamped. Okay, because we're going to touch on that word camp, which... That's not the word that you see in the scriptures. The word that you see in the scriptures, it's in camp. And we're going to go into that word as well. In fact, let's start off with that. Okay. Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 14 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel that turn and encamp before Paha Iroth between Migdal and or Magadol, and the sea over against Baal Zephan. Before it shall ye encamp by the sea. Okay? Now you see the word encamp there. All right? So let's look at what this word encamp means. All right? It says, uh, the Hebrew word is chana. It says to decline, incline, encamp, bend down, lay siege against. To decline, to encamp. Okay? And also, too, we'll go into the strongs. It says properly to incline by implication to decline of the slanting rays of evening. Spe specifically to pitch a tent. Okay? Generally to encamp for abode or siege in tents. Camp, all right? You see this word here. It says camp, dwell, and camp, grow to an end, lie, pitch, pitch tent, rest in tent, right? Now, someone will say, oh, well, that's a tent, and you guys ain't out there, and uh, you, ain't, you don't have a tent. Well, let's look at another word for the word tent, because if you know the scriptures, it's very easy and it's simple, okay? Let's go to the book. Of Revelations chapter chapter 21 and verse 3. All right. Revelations 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. Okay. And he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. And the Most High himself shall be with them and be their power. Now let's see what that word for tabernacle is. It's tent. Okay, tabernacle made of green bowls or skins or other materials of that which of that well known movable temple of the Most High after the pattern of which the temple of Jerusalem was built. Tabernacle, habitation, a tent, cloth hut, habitation, tabernacle. And when you understand the scripture, it's not talking about an actual tabernacle, it's not talking about an actual tent. It's talking about men, okay, that are established to as what? As an enzyme for the people. Because what will happen is, is that you will have in the ancient world, which I have a picture here, okay? This is just some depiction. I put tents and banners in medieval times to give us the best depiction. And this is what they showed us, right? So you have this concept here, which what happens? When men will establish and get ready for war, they will pitch tent and they will establish what? A banner, Okay, or another word is an enzyme, in which I'm going to get into. It. All right, let me see. This is another one. Okay, my bad. Okay, this was the concept back in the ancient world, man. You know, when men would gather together, get on horses, and prepare war against their enemies, they would pitch tents. Okay, and what again, you have this banner here. All right, and this is a common custom. Of the children of Israel. We did this back in the ancient world. And as we're being established back as a nation. Again the most high is having us encamp. Round about against our enemies. That's why the scripture says what? When you go into Ezekiel the 37th chapter. Ezekiel 37 and 9. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And breathed 
and breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army, right? Because the Most High is establishing an army within America, okay? To stand upon their feet, to fight spiritually, to, uh, to cast down a stronghold, okay? That's what will happen. Men will get together in the ancient world to prepare to take down a stronghold or another city, right? And they would get together in the camps at night and establish the, a plan to overthrow their enemies, okay? So the Most High is, is establishing camps, okay, around the four corners of the earth to take down this beast, all right? Starting with the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, okay? Quick scripture real quick. Uh, I don't know how that happened. There you go. Um, quick scripture. This is Zechariah chapter 9 and 13. It says, when I have bent the Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim. This is what men of ancient times did to fight. They used bow and arrows. Okay, I bent Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim. All right, and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as a sword, as a mighty man. Are we actually swords? No, just like we're not actually a tabernacle. We're not actually a tent, okay? But we're liking unto these things because this is symbolic under the man of war, man. Yahweh is his name, okay? And the Lord shall be seen over them and his arrow shall go forth as lightning and the Lord power shall blow the trumpet. That's what we're doing. The scriptures tell you to do what? Because men were established. They were set up camps, all right? Devise a plan. Get their bow and arrows ready. Get their swords ready and blow the trumpet. Lift. It says what? Uh, uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. All right. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. Okay. The scriptures also tell you what? Uh, blow ye the trumpets in Zion. Sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Okay. So this is all figurative. Okay. An allegoric. To show that the Most High is waging war against the powers that be right now, using the men of Israel, using his tabernacle to set up those camps. Okay? Now, back in the ancient world, you would set up a camp. And like I mentioned and I showed, you would set up a banner. Okay? Now, that's why the scripture says this Isaiah 13, and I'm going to start at verse 1. The burden of Babylon, as I, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. He saw it. Why? Because it was future prophecy. Lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Now, let's look at what this word banner says. Okay, the word there is nasa, something lifted up, a standard, a signal, a signal, a pole, an ensign, which will go into that as well. A banner, a sign, a sail, right? Because when you saw men on ships back in the ancient world, you would know where that ship was coming from based upon what? Its ensign, based upon its sail. Why? Because it had its emblem or logo on its banner. Okay? Let me see what else is on. See, look, it says by implication, a flagstaff on a Strong's definition, generally a signal, a signal, figuratively a token, banner, pole, a sign or standard. Now, just like in the ancient world, Men would not only fight to take down their enemies to conquer land, but they would also fight their enemies to do what? Rescue prisoners. And that's what we're doing. We're rescuing the prisoners of hope. Okay? When we go out and establish the camp. And what do we do? We lift up the banner by calling upon the name of the Lord. And this is like a spiritual magnet, if you will. Okay? To those that have the proper... Uh, uh, metals <laughs> to come unto the banner, man, so you can understand, all right? The scriptures also says this. Matter of fact, let's go back two chapters. Isaiah chapter 11 and 10, okay? And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek. That's why you guys can't get the Gentiles neither, okay? Because you can't see things spiritually, all right. The Most High said these things in an allegoric form. He would have things established in the ancient world that we would speak about and express spiritually now. 
Okay? To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. Okay? And then we know who the Gentiles are. That's the Israelite foreigners. Even those that are here in America that don't know they're Israelites, they're considered Gentiles. But when they see the banner that is lifted up, they see the enzyme set up by the camp. Okay? Also going into what? The two sticks. The two sticks are a banner. Meaning what? The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. When people see that sign, they attach themselves to the sign and they want to join the camp. Why? To prepare war to defeat the enemy. It's just that simple. Okay? It says what? It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand against the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea, in which the ensign is essentially the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord is who? Yahweh Shai. Okay? In the beginning was the word and the word was the powers. All right? It says, he shall set up the ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcast of Israel, okay? When you assemble something, you encamp it, all right? You camp, you encamp it, okay? And gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The envy of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. See how this thing is all likened unto war, the ensign, the banner, the encamp it, the tabernacle, okay? Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. All right, and that's the point on that. Okay. Uh, another one I would like to get. Oh, matter of fact, just to show you that this is spiritual. Okay, first and foremost, this is Psalm 60 and 4. Thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Okay, so the men of the Lord encampeth out on the highways, on the hedges, and lift up a banner for those that want to seek truth. Salah, that thy beloved, or what's another word for beloved? Thou or die, David, may be delivered because the tabernacles of David are being established here in America and on the four corners of the earth. Save with thy right hand and hear me. Why? Because they, uh, they that, that sound, that trumpet, that familiar sound, they heard it. Okay, and they assemble a liken unto that army that the Most High is established, that is establishing through prophecy. Okay, all right. Um, two more I want to get. Now this is the book of. All right, Numbers the second chapter because when our people were coming out of the wilderness, all right, what was happening? We were, we were in disarray. We were uh, disassembled. So through Joshua, right, we were numbering ourselves and assembling ourselves. So it says, jo Numbers 2 and 1, And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Every man of the children of Israel shall pitch by his own standard with the ensign of their father's house, far off about the tabernacle of the congregation shall they pitch. Okay? Now, when you look up, all right, this is what we'll do. We'll go to the, um, there's one I, let's look forward. Okay, no, no, let's go back. Because what I did was, that's what we did. We would pitch tents and encamp, right? Because that was the tradition of Israel. We would pitch, we would set up tent, uh, Israel dwelt in tents. Jacob dwelt in tents, Okay. Now it says here, um, oh yeah, banner of 12 tribes of Israel, all right? Let's make sure it's in images. And this is what you would have, okay? So you would have a tent, but each tent would have their tribe on it. And they would have basically, mm, what's the best one to get? All right, these are in English, but nevertheless, it's still the same concept, all right? See, so you have the tribe of Asher here, okay? Mm, let's not use that one. Hmm. Here we go. This is the best one here. This is what we would have, man. Okay? Now, this is a Syrian Hebrew, but this is a depiction of what we used to have. Benjamin was the wolf. Asher was the tree. Dan was the serpent. Gad was the tent. Okay? That's why the tribe of Gad is known for what? All right? Teepees. They kept the tradition of the tent, of the tabernacle. 
okay? Of the camps. Why? Because Gad is a troop. All right? Asher had the donkey, okay? So on and so forth, man. All right? This is our this was a this was our original enzyme. This was our original banner. Okay? But now it's all spiritual so you can understand, man. <laughs> so you I bet you it was an old guy that came up against that concept of a camp. Why? Because you're scared to fight up against your enemy, man. You're scared that you see young men, all right, and elders that have been doing this long enough, all right, to basically chant down Babylon, man, to fight up against the stronghold that has captivated your mind. I'm talking about, you know, camp. That's our tradition, man, to set up camp, all right, as I'm showing you here, clearly in the scriptures, man. And that's another thing. You do just come up, come up with things out your own fucking vain opinion, man. All right? But never bring out the scriptures. Then you take scriptures and you twist them to make them fit your stupid ass bullshit to come up against the men of the Lord and the truth, man. Okay? Last one, man, for you duckhead niggas, man. All right? You dummies out here, man. Fools, man. How about this one? Psalms 34 and 7, the angels of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver of them, man. Okay, just like when you had during the time of Elisha, okay, and his servants, what happened? The Syrians, they went to besiege Elisha, all right, and his servant. But guess what? The angels of the Lord encampeth round about them, man. So even to those brothers out there that are by themselves, man. Guess what? They holding camp too. Why? Because of the angels of the Lord is with them, man. Okay? And that's pretty much the point, man. All right? For you bozos out there, man. You ain't got a, you ain't got a uh, spiritual cell in your body, man. All right? Call the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. All right? Yup. Call the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. By Shimon Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom Labaquarium. Peace to the elect, man. Shalom.